Hey everybody, I'm back this week to do the much requested stuffing in the microwave recipe. Okay, we're gonna get this started right away because it has to sit for about five minutes after we start it. So, get yourself one egg and a microwavable dish that you can put a cover on. Doesn't really matter what size, it just needs to be able to hold two cups of stuffing. So crack your egg right into your dish. Get yourself half a cup of milk. Toss it in there. Take a fork and give it a good and thorough beating. Okay, basically just make sure it's mixed up. I just thought that sounded funny. <laughs> so then you want two tablespoons of chopped up celery. I know, look at me, I prepared ahead of time. Aren't I impressive? Okay, I can tell you that's two tablespoons of celery because I measured it out beforehand. Same time for showing you guys. Okay, one tablespoon of chopped onion. A uh, tablespoon, which is maybe a little extra because I like onion in mine. Okay, now you're going to want your seasoning, which starts out with, okay, I know some of you asked for like a turkey stuffing, some wanted a chicken stuffing. We're going to do a general poultry stuffing. You can use it for any bird. Hence, you want poultry seasoning. I need a half a teaspoon of this. Half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Now you want a fourth a teaspoon of ground sage. That's just the wee littlest one down there. All right, let me take the lid off of this a minute. I'm low on sage. <laughs> There we go. Get yourself a, like I said, a fourth a teaspoon of ground sage. And an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Which is just, you know, basically half of the fourth. Not much at all. Technically, a dash. And, eh, just, when I say a dash, I mean just like some pepper on top. Give all that a good mix up. Spices are going to be a little fussy because they're not going to want to get mixed in there right away real good. <sighs> Pepper, now my nose is tickling. Okay, once you get that as mixed up as you can, get two cups of stuffing cubes. You Unseasoned. Now, you can buy this at the grocery store, which is way easier, but you could cut up your own bread into chunks, you know, just about that big. A couple slices is all it needs. You want it um, a little bit stale, not fresh, soft bread. You want it, it honestly is a slightly stale, but that makes for a good stuffing. So you're going to put two cups in there, mix well, and set your timer for five minutes because you want these to soak in. You want to get the stuffing cubes to get all the good. So I'm going to set my timer for five minutes. Okay, and now we can sort of talk about the recipe while this sits, if I'm not throwing some of it. Um, so like I said, we're doing stuffing this week. Uh, my friend Danielle had given me this idea, and we had found the recipe together a while back, but I told her, you know what, I'm going to save this for Thanksgiving. And then last week, after I did that awesome sweet potato casserole, I had two of you really cool subscribers asked me to do stuffing, so ta-da, here I deliver. Thanks for giving me requests, that just makes me all tickled. And um, next week, per request, we are, I'll tell you ahead of time, we are gonna do a good green bean casserole. I think my camera's sliding. <laughs> but okay, um, while this is setting for the five minutes, you can see that it has sopped up pretty much all that liquid. Some of them might look a little gooshy, fine. It'll cook up in the microwave. 
And, um, okay. So I'm concentrating on stirring. That's why I wanted to get this started right away before I talk about it a little bit. Because, like I said, it does need to set and, I guess you'd call it, brew and soak up everything for five minutes. This is only like a one to two person serving size. If you want to do more, just up the recipe. I'm going to get my cover and set this here because, like I said, it's going to set for the five minutes and then we're literally, we only microwave it for like two and a half minutes tops. But I can get started. I clean it up after myself already. Onion keeper. Isn't that the cutest thing? I accidentally chopped up too much onion, so I just wanted to put it in my onion keeper. It just amuses me because it's shaped like an onion. If you're wondering about the hat, it's super cold out. Oh my word, the wind chill has it down to like I, I'm an almost unbearable degree. Not looking forward to this time of year again. Woo! Okay, I am gonna tilt this camera back a little bit, people. Because it looks like you're staring at this person. Okay. And we've got about a minute and a half, a little over a minute and a half. I'm going to give it another bit, little bit of a stir. So it's not getting too mushy on the... It's my cat. Too mushy in any one spot. Because you'll see the cubes are really... Like it doesn't look like you put two cups in there. Hmm. Like I said, you do want this to set for five minutes. I could cheat and do it one way or the other, but unfortunately, we do want it to set for five minutes just so we can get the uh, all the good soaked into the breadcrumbs. Because like I said, breadcrumbs, um, the bread cubes, you do want them slightly stale to give it a better quality. Uh, and that's sort of, if you buy it from the store, you'll feel they seem a little uh, stiffer than you would yet if you cut your own bread. And that's why we let it set for five minutes so it can soak in and get all the good. Okay, less than a minute now, and we'll actually get to cooking it. If you're wondering what I was doing, I was getting a, my Keurig ready to do a pumpkin cappuccino, pumpkin spice cappuccino. Good and cause hold. Okay, five seconds and we're gonna put this in the microwave. Okay, now we can actually get to using the microwave. With the cover on, you're gonna put your dish in there for one whole minute. And then we're going to pot, and then it'll be done. Uh, then we're going to stir it, do it for another minute, and uh, see if it's heated through. It's not, if it's heated through, two minutes, you're done. Um, if it's not heated through, do it another 30 seconds, you know, until you think it's hot enough. I mean, you don't want to completely fry it, to, like, to death, but... I know, like, the waiting the five minutes... It's the longest thing, longest time you're gonna have invested in this. Yeah, you asked for stuffing? I found you one of the simplest things you could do. I'm just so happy for a request, thank you guys. And if you can see that clock, yes it is seven in the morning. I just, I meant to film this yesterday, 
but barn work, unexpected things crop up, getting everything winterized. Whew. Okay. Take your fork or your spoon, whatever you're using. Take it out. You'll still see some liquid in the bottom, so give it a good stir. seem like a little extra mushy. It's okay if you think it's too mushy. If you, if you think it seems like too much liquid, throw some extra cubes in. Just depends on how much you want to make. I like a wetter stuffing myself, so this is what suits me. Um, if you like a drier stuffing, cut back on the liquid just a little bit. Starting the curing. It warmed up. Warm drink soon. And like I said, now after this is done, the next minute we'll stir it, see if it's heated through. If not, we'll do it another 30 seconds. I like when the recipe calls that it yields two servings, which is basically one me size serving. another 30 seconds because I want it just a little bit more warmed up than that. But I wanted to give it a good stir first. Fix my microwave. <laughs> I tilted the tray a little bit. Pumpkin spice cappuccino. Because it's cold. Hot. But good. Okay. And there we have quick and easy, sorry I didn't mean to slam that, stuffing that you just made in the microwave. Ta -da. Eee, stuffing! Mm. Stuffing, stuffing, stuffing. It's gonna be probably super hot now. Seriously, it's just like it came out of the bird's butt. Mm. I'm going to go enjoy this for breakfast. Early morning filming. You go try it. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you next week. <coughs> Sorry, wrong way. For green bean casserole. Bye.